From sunning wear to stunning wear, whatever clothes need special care, trust in your machine. If you have a toothache and take aspirin or Tylenol, it has to go through all this to get rid of the pain, and that could take up to 30 minutes. Or use Maximum Strength Aura-Gel and start relieving the pain immediately. Aura-Gel, available in Maximum Strength Gel and Liquid. I have the perfect remedy for their heartburn with headache. My Alka-Seltzer! It's advanced formula Alka-Seltzer with less sodium, and you can take it with just a little water. That tasted great, but it's not Alka-Seltzer. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Advanced formula Alka-Seltzer. Let's hit it. It's party time. You must think we've all gone absolutely bonkers. And it's a real knockout when things heat up. That's the nice thing about being overdressed. There's always something you can do about it. So get ready. This party's really picking up. For the time of your life, Guiding Light. Tonight, a drug bust leads Jake to a shocking discovery. Jake. She broke his heart once. It'd just be better if you'd talk about it. Is she setting him up again? Jake and the Fat Man. Then, the one, the only, the original. A comedy special that'll make you smile. With Paul Anka, Susan Anton, and host Alan Funk. Candid Camera, Funny Money. Tonight. This is CBS. If you've been seriously injured in an accident, there's something you should know. Some insurance companies are quick to offer a settlement in their own best interest. Now, before you sign something you don't understand, call the Injury Helpline. Talk to an attorney. In America's hands. Judy Belushi and other celebrity widows next to Robert. Hello, my darling. There Hello, there. Dr. Dixon, I've been looking all over for you. I'm just trying to grab a few moments of peace and quiet after all these therapy sessions oh. with Andrew. Coming home, walking in on a party is a little discerning. Oh, darling, that's not a party. It's just Lily and Colin and Kirk and Emmy and right, Ambrose. It's a party, dear. Oh, I thought you told me that you were very pleased with Andy's progress. I am. He's sounding and looking better than he has in months. Why are you so down and depressed? We just had to be pretty honest with Andrew today about the marriage and the divorce. More honest than we ever have been, I guess. Oh, dear. All right. Because I don't know anything about all of that. I don't need to know either. I mean, you don't have to tell me anything. No, it's just hard to lay all that stuff in Andy's lap, that's all. Sure, it's hard to have to admit to your kid that you're not perfect. Right. Oh, you know what? There's lots of time before dinner service. Do you want me to get on the phone? I could still ask um, Kim and Bob. If they want to come and join us. Well, I don't think that would work. Why not? Because Kim is taking a little bit of a vacation from all the running around we've been doing the past month, and so at the end is Oh, you should too. I mean, yep. You should. Yep. yep. Just Kim? No, I think she has Chris with her and the babysitter. But alone. not Bob. Well, Bob couldn't get away right now. Oh, dear. It's come to that. Now, wait a minute. Just wait a minute. What? I know what you're driving at here. I know where you're going. I'm just, just stop it. Let's just not start in about this marriage. It's a perfect marriage. I mean, taking separate vacations, the happy uses, paradise lost. I mean, there's something wrong with that marriage. Wrong with whose marriage? Hi, Shannon. Oh, Hi, there she is. Hi, Emily. We saw you when you came in, but you look busy. Oh, yeah, prospective client. Do <laughs> you have any plans for dinner? No, I, I have work to do, so... Ah, uh, well, haven't you heard that all work and no play makes for one dull lassie? I insist that you join us for dinner. Oh, Shannon, I don't want to intrude. Oh, no, no, no intrusion at all. Please. Please, sit down. Okay. Would Thank you like something you. to drink? Yeah, I'll have scotch and eat, please. Scotch and eat. Well, Emily... I know that you're close with Paul and Hal. Has there been any news of Barbara? Well, Hal is still en route to Edinburgh, so we won't hear anything tomorrow if we do hear anything, so... I just hope he's not walking into something that's gonna hurt him more than he's already been hurt. Aye, well, the truth is better than being in the dark, whatever it might be. 
Speaking of dark, I understand you guys are having uh, a couple of oddities happening out <laughs> at your place. What is this, missing bodies and portraits? And... Well, that's not all. This Diana Clifford, um, Duncan's office manager, screamed bloody murder when she was coming up the stairs because she saw a man in the shadows. Well, who, who was it, one of your workmen? No, he was very well dressed, she said, and believe it or not, he fits the same description as the man that Duncan thought was dead on the landing. I think everyone's nerves are just on edge. I searched every nook and cranny of that warehouse and saw no sign of an intruder. I think Diana was just imagining things. Oh, Diana's definitely not the imaginative type. <clears throat> and perhaps that's true, but, you know, the light plays strange tricks at that time of day in the warehouse. What about the whistling? What whistling? Uh, my dear wife, I thought we came here to get away from all of that. I'll tell you about it when we're alone. Gotcha. Lisa. Hi. Yeah, I thought you were telling me Margo's cookout. Well, yes, but it was, uh, we, we broke up kind of early because, uh, uh, Lila called. Casey's been admitted to the hospital. What's wrong with Casey? No one knows yet. They're, they're taking all kinds of tests. Margo promised she would call as soon as they find out something definite. Duke, please, would you just take a load off? You're making me nuts. Look, I can't settle down with Dr. Purcell and they're giving them his diagnosis. Well, you're not gonna find anything wrong. I should have made him see a doctor when he started having symptoms. What symptoms? Now, Casey, he was having like a you know, stiff neck the last couple of days. He asked me to go get him a, some extra sank aspirin because of his, his headaches and stiff neck and stuff. And typical Casey didn't want to worry anyone. Hi, uh, any news? Hi, you know, Dr. Purcell's been in with him for a while now. Uh, how's Leanne? Uh, Graham and Ellen and Mac are over there with her. The party kind of broke up. Uh, hi. Hello, son. What's the news, Dr. Bob? It's not good, Duke. Casey's contracted fulminating encephalitis. I've heard of that. That's serious. Casey diagnosed himself this morning. And I didn't want to believe it. Introducing new improved Mop and Glow. With a shine so bright, a shine so tough, even future and bright can't beat Mop and Glow, even on no wax floors. New improved Mop and Glow for unbeatable shine. <laughs> Daddy will kiss the pain away. Why make things up to soothe their pain? Use Camphophenic Antibiotic Plus Pain Reliever. It helps prevent infection, and unlike Neosporin, it stops pain. Camphophenic Antibiotic in ointment or new spray. It lets you mean what you say. You see, it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> Mommy, I spilled grape juice on the carpet. That's okay. You must have stain-resistant carpet. Uh-uh. She uses Resolve Carpet Cleaner with DuPont Teflon. With Resolve, even grape juice comes out with ease. If you don't have stain-resistant carpet... Mommy! That's okay! Get Resolve with Teflon. There's only one thing to remember about saving on long distance. Sprint Plus always costs less than AT&T. Don't miss Sprint Plus with one free month. Call 1-800-877-4000 now. Found another American family millionaire. Thanks, Ed. Now we can take a long vacation. And get a new car. You can be next to win big just weeks from now. Ten million dollars, all yours. Enter fast. I thought when you were talking about somebody's troubled marriage that you meant Hal and Barbara. Oh, how's everything going over there? Oh, well, Hal is going to fly to Edinburgh and then track her down. But I'm kind of worried about what he might find there. Why? Does he expect someone special? No. I have nothing more to say. No! Let me see. Edinburgh. Oh, <laughs> it cannot be James Denbeck because he's dead. However, Brian McCaw lives near Edinburgh. They liked each other. Am I getting warmer? You know, this, this isn't a game, Mother. 
You have this morbid fascination with bad marriages. Oh, darling, morbid. This is morbid. Well, in my experience, marriage is difficult under the best of conditions. Hi. Hi. Bianca invited me over for a swim. I, I hope you, you don't mind. No, you're welcome any time, Thank you. Darling. It's all right. Dr. Dixon, mm -hmm. I hope your trip with Andy was a good one. Good. Andy's doing just fine. Oh, good. Just fine. You know, uh, Bianca came up with a really neat idea. She thought maybe since nobody seems to be too keen on Andy moving back in the apartment, you know, he shared with Julie, Duke seems content where he is, that maybe Andy could move into the pool house here. That's a good idea. Why, Very good. darling, how, what a dear child you are to think of that. Yeah, well, she'll never take credit for it. <laughs> so did um, Tom and Margot's party break up early? No, um, there was bad news. Lila called and said that Casey was admitted to uh, Memorial Hospital for some tests. What kind of tests? I don't know. I better get over to the hospital. Oh, um, okay, do you want to call first or something? No, I want to find out what's going on firsthand. I'll see you all later. All right, bye-bye. Give my love to Casey. Poor Casey's already been through so much already. I mean, how can anything else go wrong? Well, encephalitis is still a mystery to the medical profession. That's why it's difficult to answer your questions. Any idea what caused this? Well, not for certain. The virus can be transmitted through a mosquito bite. Oh, rem remember they told us the other night they had dinner outside in yeah. case he got all bitten up? I could have done it. Is there a diagnosis, Daddy? Yes, fulminating encephalitis. Oh, that sounds a little scary. What does it mean? Well, it's a disease that attacks the central nervous system. Is it contagious? No, no. Agents other than human contact can transmit the disease. Can we see him? On a restricted basis, rest is one of the most important parts of his recovery. And Dr. Hughes? Excuse me. Hi, Bill. Uh, all these young people are interested in the Peretti case. Dr. Purcell is a neurological specialist. He can answer your questions a lot better than I can. I've got to make rounds, mm -hmm. Bill. How's Casey's condition, Dr. Purcell? All right, now I'm afraid it's uncertain. Is this in any way related to Casey's GBS? It's hard to say. GBS involves an inflammation of the peripheral nervous system, whereas encephalitis involves an inflammation of the central neurological system. You mean the brain? Yes. There is no known progression from GBS to encephalitis, but GBS weakens the peripheral nervous system and lowers the immune defense system of the body. Unfortunately, that could compromise Casey's ability to fight the virus. Is he on antibiotics? There aren't any known for this particular virus. We just have to watch him carefully and wait. How long? Well, the disease usually runs its course in a week to 10 days. Casey's already had symptoms for a few days now, so I'd say the next four or five days are the critical ones. The battle could turn out any way. We just have to know if there's an improvement. And what if there isn't? Well, the disease is progressive. Casey's condition would deteriorate. Eventually, perhaps, go into coma. How much does my mother know? She's a nurse. And she was present for my entire talk with Casey. I'm going to get down there. Tom, you just stay and listen to whatever else Dr. Purcell has to say. Doctor, what are the signs if Casey starts to get worse? Increased difficulty in breathing, disorientation, confusion. But remember, there's every possibility Casey will improve and eventually pull through. I was in there with Casey. I'd give them a few minutes. How's Mama holding up? Well, she's being very brave for Casey, which is something I guess we're all going to have to do. What's going on? How's Casey? Bill Purcell diagnosed fulminating encephalitis. I'd like to see him. Well, Lana's in there right now. I think they need a little privacy. Do you have a bad headache from the spinal tap? Could be worse. So, life throws us another curve. <laughs> yeah. But we'll get through this. We can handle this. I've been thinking that maybe I picked this up from a mosquito bite when we ate outside, so I think that you should look for symptoms in Kate and Adam and 
I don't want you to talk anymore, okay? Okay. I'm stressed. I'm going to beat this thing, though. Of course you are. With the same strength that you got through the GBS, you're going to get through this, too. You can count on it, I promise. The next few days are going to be kind of rough. But I know that with you and Katie, I can get through just about anything. You got it. You better rest now, OK? I'll be back. I'm real sorry. Sorry? Hmm. There's no room to be sorry. We're in this together, you and me. For the long run. Hmm. Hold on to that, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, Casey, he's trying to be strong. I'm Barbara Mandrell, looking for the Visa tag. Here it is on clothes made from Visa, America's freedom fabric. Made in the USA by Millican. Quality fabric and so easy to care for. Here's a salad oil stain on Visa and ordinary fabric. Both are dipped into regular detergent. Look, Visa of Dacron releases stains. And needs almost no ironing. So if you love that freedom, look for the Visa tag, America's freedom fabric. A wart makes it difficult to express yourself with your hands. Clear Away Wart Remover removes warts faster than Compound W Liquid. Our medicated disc dissolves the wart, while the cover-up disc conceals it. Clear Away from Dr. Scholl's conceals as it heals. Who are the brightest kids in America? Mom's rated thicker Vivid higher than Clorox 2 for making colors and whites look cleaner. So who are the brightest kids in America? Mine are. Don't just get them clean, get them vivid. The garbage bag you choose can make the job a hassle or a cinch. Cinch, cinch, cinch. Hassle, hassle, hassle. Cinch, hassle. Hefty cinch sack bags. Pull the super strong cinch and it's closed. No mess, no twist ties, no hassle. Cinch, cinch, cinch. Hassle, hassle, hassle. Cinch, cinch, cinch. Don't just get rid of the garbage. Get rid of the hassle. T -t 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 hassle, 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 hassle. Get the amazing cinch sack from Hefty. Hefty, hefty cinch sack. From the Mayflower in Plymouth Rock to the Wright Brothers at Kitty Hawk and beyond, History Goes Peanuts in Charlie Brown's summer series, This is America, Charlie Brown. Then, should Cindy Williams run for office? I put your head in Madonna's body. Or run for her life? Is this a great country or what? An all-new normal life right after Charlie Brown tonight. Yes, yeah, Senator, I'm glad to catch you in your office. Uh, listen, I was thinking it might be a good idea if you and I would meet over dinner with the governor tomorrow night. No, no, of course not. No, I'd fly down there. Uh, uh, just a moment, governor. There seems to be somebody at my door, and I'm afraid my secretary has vanished. Uh, I won't be a minute. Dottie. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great surprise, but I'm on the phone now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Who are you talking to? Yes, Senator. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, good. Good. Excellent. Well, then, uh, you'll get back to me, I suppose, just as soon as you talk with the governor? Well, I'll look forward to hearing from you. Adios. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Well, Maggie had to work late in the hospital, and I was just rattling around that big old ranch all by myself, so... You have Pete drive you down? No, I drove myself. I drove the Jeep. You drove yourself? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I do have some acquaintance with stick shifts, you know. I'm hoping that your acquaintance with our ranch house and me will get deeper so that you'll feel comfortable to share it with me. 
<laughs> you had anything to eat since lunch? No, I'm starving to death. Well, then why don't I ask Carmen to whip us up something special <laughs> so we can have it here while I wait for my phone? What are you laughing about? <laughs> you. <laughs> you know, from your farm in Luther's Corners to, I mean, governors and senators, you know, it just it really amazes me how you move so easily from one world to another. You know what amazes me? Mm. You. <laughs> in Waco, Luther's Corners, you walk into a room, my eyes light up, and my heart skips a beat every time. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> well, uh, Emma Snyder, I'd like you to meet Brad Hunter. He's one of our very best foremen, and he's a candidate for this liaison job between uh, the Home Office here and the M&A. Pleasure, ma'am. Yes, mine as well. Well, listen, I had better let all you gentlemen talk about business and no, be on no, my no, way. No, 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 you won't. You're going to stay right here and brighten up this drab old office. I've already explained the details to Brad and that he'd be spending most of his time in Oakdale. Well, Brad, I think you also want to know that my granddaughter, Lily, uh, is a partner and a top dog there at Montgomery & Associates, and she's also the reason why I'm able to spend so much time away from Waco. They're doing a crackerjack job up there. I also think that you ought to be aware of the fact that my first choice for this job was my son, Josh, but uh, he tells me that he's not interested at this point. Well, Mr. Strickland, uh, I am very interested. Um, would I be working directly with your granddaughter? No, the uh, Strickle account is handled primarily by Emily Stewart. Uh, there's another one of the beautiful businesswomen up there to Montgomery and Associates. <laughs> but you mustn't let those looks fool you. She is razor sharp. You know, it strikes me that beauty and brains just seem to go together, women in Oakdale. <laughs> See, I heard whistling twice on the telephone, and then Colin came in whistling, and he said that he'd heard somebody on the landing whistling, too. Well, did the tunes seem familiar at all? No, I just can't quite place it. Look who I bumped into while I was making my phone call. Oh, nice hey, to be joining us for dinner as his lassie is in New York. Emily, any bites from that prospective client you were having drinks with? No, nothing definite. So, no white rose like the one from Gavin Kruger, eh? Listen, we should really uh, talk about some ideas for Kruger in the next couple of days. Well, um, the next couple of days, my schedule's really full, so. Ah. Shannon, you knew Kruger when he was just getting started, didn't you? What was he like then? Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. How did it go, the session with Andy? It went great. Good, good. I actually think we're going to be able to be friends again. I'm glad. Listen, are you going to need me tonight? Yes. Yes, okay. I think I will. I, I really would like to spend some time over at the hospital. Leanne hasn't had a setback. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it's uh, Casey. He's, uh, he's in there for some test. Oh, no. Well, listen, I've got a dress in my locker. I'll go change. Don't worry, I can handle everything. Thank you. Okay? What's cool and helps hands in pain do this? What's cool and helps the back that aches do this? It's therapeutic mineral ice. With its cool feel and penetrating, soothing, deep, cold pain relief. Try this cool feeling and this soothing relief on your little aches and pains. There's no embarrassing odor. Get the penetrating, deep, cold pain relief of therapeutic mineral ice. In a recent study of couples, social scientists found that a full 50% prefer a squeeze to a pat. Of those who prefer a pat, 35% still like an occasional squeeze. So we're introducing squeezable I Can't Believe It's Not Butter. The only squeezable spread flavored with sweet cream buttermilk for a fresh butter taste, but without the cholesterol to spoil the romance. So give your special someone a good healthy squeeze. I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, the taste you love without the cholesterol. Let me ask you something. Why pay more for pink or blue packets when they're Sugar Twin? Sugar Twin costs less, tastes great, sweetens my coffee perfectly. So why pay more? Sugar Twin. Sweet taste, sweeter price. This plum is one of the very best sources of fiber. Once it turns into a prune, prunes, the high fiber fruit. It's got to stop here. A town ravaged by disease, the plague that hits home. We've done all we can now, we just have to hope. But I'm about out of hope. On Paradise, 
Then, the massacre of innocent people. 43 people were slaughtered out there. Sends the men over the edge on Tour of Duty, following Paradise, Saturday. about the man, the object of Barbara's affection. No, I can't. And it's just rumor, anyway. Why do so many marriages end so badly? I can't answer that today, dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I have a business proposition for you. Oh, now what is that? A new client of Walsh is interested in buying up and developing river frontage. I want to put him in touch with you. I think you should sell that piece of property. And that way, you will not be roaming around in the ruins of that cottage, looking for answers about Derek that you will not find there. I will never sell the cottage property, Mother. Never. Lily, uh, perhaps you should get changed if we were to go to the Mona Lisa. Hello. Sean, hi. Hello, Ms. Walsh. Hello. Good to see you. Where's Fanny? I left her at the hospital. I just came by to pick up Courtney. Oh. You were at the hospital? Well, what's, what's happened? Well, uh, Casey, what is it? What's he going on? He has something called encephalitis. Oh. Courtney, you want to get dressed? And I'll uh, drop you home my way back to the Actually, hospital. Actually, I've been invited to stay for dinner. Oh. And why don't you stay for dinner, too? You oh, look like you could no, use a little relaxation, a little swim. Get you All right, it looks like I'm outnumbered. <laughs> yes, you. you are. So, give up. Yes. <laughs> um, you got the power of attorney in case anything comes up, right? Yeah, we got your will from Jess before she went to New York, signed and executed. Good, that's one less thing to worry about. I don't want to have to worry about anything more, okay? Okay, okay, anything else I can do for you? Yeah, actually, um, I could deal with my medical form, see if they're in order. She doesn't need to deal with the red tape of that either. Consider it done. I got one for you, too, redhead. Did you take your mother home with you guys? If she hangs around here, she's just going to be worn out. Anything you say, boss. You got Mac and Nancy and Ellen there with Katie now. Your fan club has gathered outside. <laughs> Which branch? Oh, uh, there's Duke and Franny and Lila. I suggest you see Lila for a little while, maybe the others after you've had some rest. Yeah, Margo and I are gonna stop back later and check on you. You want me to send Mommy in now? No, not just yet. I need to talk to John for a second. Bye. Mm. Susan tells me you suspected encephalitis. Yeah. You waited this long to check yourself in? What difference does it make? There's no known cure. Crisis is gonna come in the next couple days anyway. Bill Purcell tell you that? No. As soon as I recognized the symptoms, I read up on encephalitis, so if I got ambushed, I could handle anything. Well, now you know as much as the experts, right? Mm-hmm. Then you know also that you do have a chance here. Yeah. I need you to do something for me. As chief of staff, I want you to tell Purcell to, to be honest with me. I want to spare Lila some of this, but I want him to tell me the truth always. Can you promise me that? Susan, where have you been? I haven't seen you since you left Casey's room. Oh, uh, Margo and Tom look so uncomfortable, I just split. So what's up? No, oh, I was just talking to Bill Purcell, going over Casey's test results, looking for some positive sign. I really can't get over his courage, you know, and his instincts. Diagnosing himself like that. I'm impressed with you, too. Oh, come on. I'm only here because I promised you I wouldn't run away. You look exhausted. Why don't you go home and get some rest? Nah, I want to be here for Casey. He's always hung in there with me, you know? I don't want to let him down now. You wouldn't be letting him down. Do you know that they can't afford private nursing? 
why did this have to happen to Casey? Why? I mean, what is going on? What is all this about? Susan, come on now. Don't do this to yourself. It's all right. I know what you want before you say it. I know the song before you play it. We're just family, you and me. Tyson, feeding you is good, as good as good can be. At Tyson, we put a little extra into everything we make because we never forget where all our food is going. Tyson's feeding you like a family. Are you motivated? Hello? Enterprising. Why don't you take a look at that? Overworked. I'm on my way. Pulled in many directions. I know, oh my, I know. Do you suffer from stress headaches? Mom! Mom! You're the type A3 personality. For you, there's A3, Anison 3, Aspirin free, Caffeine free, Sodium free. A3, Anison 3, Stress Headache Pain Relief. For the type A3 personality. Look for this Anison 3 sweepstakes entry form and valuable coupon in your Sunday paper. Taxi! Taxi! Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Want to share? Only Arid has the sustained action formula. Hour after hour, it fights wetness and odor. Get a little closer. Sustained action Arid keeps on working when you need it most. Look at that smile. Sensational. She uses Pearl Drops. Fashion, it, it, Pearl Drops. Pearl Drops has more polishing power than ever to help get your teeth whiter. So, fashion, fun it, Pearl Drops. Shine it. Continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Tonight, a drug bust leads Jake to a shocking discovery. Jake. She broke his heart once. It'd just be better if you talk about it. Is she setting him up again? Jake and the Fat Man. Then, the one, the only, the original. A comedy special that'll make you smile. With Paul Anka, Susan Anton, and host Alan Funk. Candid Camera, Funny Money. Tonight. This is CBS. There are so many diets available. You know, you can buy books, you can uh, drink liquids, you can do all of those things. But none of those things give people what is most important, and that is that one-on-one -on -one support. The counselors are always cheering them on, uh, giving them the encouragement that they need. It's been so easy for them, so natural, that they don't realize they've really gone through a program for weight loss. Now you can lose all the weight you want for only a $185 service fee. Call 1-800-76-JENNY. I'm going to make the dressing. Good seasons. We always make it fresh. I need the oil. Which one? Hmm. Want to help Mommy? Good seasons. It's fresher than bottled Italian. Hmm. You made it fresh? Mmm. Tastes great. Good seasons. You make it fresh. You make it best. You call that a bathing suit? I could floss my teeth with that thing. It happens to be the biggest thing this season. You call that big? Pass the iced tea. 4C, the official iced tea of the Davis family. High-tech crime-fighting tools on hard copy. And now, part two of As the World Turns. I can't believe what Lisa, I just don't, saw. Shh, don't you say a word. You don't know what's happening around. Well, I happen to know that Kim has taken time off. Well, if you would take the time all... and ask why Susan is upset, you'd be told that Casey has encephalitis. Bob. Oh, how dreadful. I... Well, poor Lila, how's she taking this? She's holding up. Oh, dear. Uh, John, I just heard about Casey. How is he? Hey, Dr. Bob. Uh, there he seems to be Pop's taking me down to Dr. Purcell's well, office so I can find out more about this disease. Well, there's a lot to uh, learn. It's a little early for yeah. that. I'm sure the family would like to see you, though. Why don't you go over there, right outside the room? Come on, I want to check Casey's tests. Oh, I'm sorry about Lisa. Oh, no, it's OK. She's Kim's friend. I'm really worried about Lucinda. I mean, when she finds out, her motives are not going to be that honorable. 
Excuse me, I, I have to go call Emily. Hi, Dad. Perhaps when Kim calls again, you should tell her about Casey. I'm sure she's going to want to call Lila. You're right. Yeah, Dad, you know, maybe this will make Mom realize just how fast things can change and how important it is not to waste any time when you're lucky enough to find somebody you want to spend the rest of your life with. That's why you're such a good psychologist, kid. Thanks, Daddy. I got to see some patients. OK. See ya. You're so comfortable with that, and I just can't seem to manage it. You know, I see him with Susan, it's very, it's tough for me. You know, Tommy, look, I, I know it's hard, but you gotta remember, Daddy and Susan were friends long before any of this ever happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're both very good friends of Casey, and it's only natural that they would turn to each other at a time like this. Look, I think it is very important that we remain objective right now, especially since Kim can't be. AJ, can I have two white wines, please? Julie, you look great tonight. If you get a free moment, why don't you stop by my table? I'd like you to meet the executive from Mary Elizabeth Lingerie. I would think he'd be more interested in meeting your new account executive. When does he start, by the way? Who said it was a he? Do you know who the woman at the end of the bar is? Not a clue. But I'll let her know that you're out on the prowl tonight. Oh, does that mean you still get jealous when you think of me with another woman? <laughs> Excuse me, I, I think we've met someone. Sorry, I'm waiting for someone. Who is that beautiful woman that Tony was talking about? I don't know. She's also smart because it looked like she just brushed him off. Emily, <laughs> shall we pick Shannon's brain about Gavin Kruger? Mm. Oh. I think we'll belay that, Blake. I think Shannon and I are going to have a dance. Something I said? I don't think that Duncan likes to talk about Shannon's old flames. Uh, Emily, sorry to bother you, but Cal's on the phone. He's oh, right at the bar. great. Excuse me, Beth. <laughs> we should stop glowering, so. Well, uh, how do you think Blake would like it if all I talked about was Roy or Thornton Converse? Well, you know, maybe you should. Maybe that would make him jealous enough to ask Jessica to marry him. <laughs> Good evening, darling. I'm sorry to interrupt your supper, but uh, I just thought I ought to let you know that I've narrowed the field and I'll be making a choice of the liaison tomorrow. Well, that's great. So when will the new man be here? Well, I expect by the end of the week. I honestly don't think there's anything more to be gleaned from Emily or Shannon about Gavin Kruger. Now, Antonio, I don't want to push, but uh, I'm ready to make this change. Lily's been asking too many questions. Look, I want you to stay at Montgomery and Associates a little longer. Rumor has it that Kruger is going to be passing through Oakdale on his way to Switzerland from the Far East. If that happens, he'll probably try and see Emily, and I want you there if he does. I'll be in close contact. Well, Julie, things seem very slow right now. Why don't you come over and say hello to Ted Pickering? Sure. Good. Okay. Ted, this is Julie. Ah, Miss Wendell. Mary Elizabeth welcomes you as our signature model. Thank you, Mr. Pickering. And it's Mrs. Snyder. Oh, please call me Ted. And if I may call you Julie, join us, please. Uh, thank you, but I can't. I'm working right now. Ted's here are scouting locations for the first shoot. Yes, we need a very sexy background for it. Uh, Tony showed me the bridal suite at the Lakeview Towers. You know, Ted, I've been thinking, uh, I think I know a better spot that has just the atmosphere that you're looking for. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Where is it? Um, my bedroom. I can hear your heart. What's it say? It likes that you've started jogging. Yeah? <laughs> it likes that you're eating healthier. Anything else? Oh, this is about me. Oh? It's happy I'm giving us promise. Promise? Sure. Promise is 90% free of saturated fat and has no cholesterol. That's good for me? Yeah. Eating foods low in saturated fat and cholesterol is good for you and your heart. You know what else is good for me? Mm. You. Promise. Get heart smart. Now try new unsalted promise. Now, for every time life turns up the heat, I told you we wouldn't know anybody. A new kind of antiperspirant. 
Degree. Total strangers. I see that. New Degree is body heat activated. Every time your body heat rises, Degree turns on extra protection. <laughs> so when life turns up the heat, Degree has you covered. It's about time. Hey. Hey, <laughs> New Degree, your body heat turns it on. you don't get very far unless you give it your all weight watchers knows that look at their new english toffee crunch bar all that chocolate and crunchy toffee mm. you know what's best for you weight watchers <laughs> <laughs> thank you mrs knight can i get you anything no, else no, that's fine thank you carmen i'm very happy yeah. thank you. i think that'll be all for the, for us this evening carmen but it was superb as usual yes. thank you Delicious. thank you cal i'll Wonderful. be next door thank you. You. all right we'll call you if we need you so I heard you tell Emily that you've narrowed down your choice. Yeah, the two men, um, Brad Hunter and another fellow. As a matter of fact, it was the youngest form we ever had on the ranch. But uh, a couple years ago, he wanted to change the scene, so he asked to be transferred to the oil field. <laughs> now I'm going to ask him if he wants another change of direction. Did you call home today, Emma? Yes, I did. Caleb said that everything's all right. Only I, uh, I sort of feel like I should be starting back soon. Maybe tomorrow. Emma, I can't go tomorrow. I know you can't. I know you've got a lot of unfinished business here. How did you know that? Well, I had a little talk with Dottie before I came oh, in. Oh, good gracious. I should have known, too. You'd get together. Mm. Well, in that case, if I make the selection of this liaison fella, do you think he could share the jet back to Oakdale? Well, I managed to could find some space there for him, a little yeah. seat. <laughs> oh, might be the senator. <laughs> Cal Strickland. Oh, senator. Yes, sir. I guess there's no easy way to talk about this. I'm worried about Iva, especially now since she and Kirk have broken off and Kirk's with Ellie. I know it was a, it was a shock to all of us. I, do you know something? Iva is making peace with this. I think she has sort of things under control. Oddly enough, I, I must say, I think that uh, Kirk and Ellie really, uh, really do love each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know this sounds crazy coming from me, but uh, I guess I was looking to Kirk to restore Iva's trust in men. I think that's something I was going to have to do for herself, Josh. Yeah, well, good. I look forward to it. Adios. Oh, doggies, I've got the senator and the governor both dancing to my tune. We're going to be doing some celebrating. What are all these long faces about? Talking about Iva. Oh, son, I, I wish you'd believe me when I tell you she's getting better. As a matter of fact, she's found herself a nice young mm, doctor. Very nice. Huh? You're going to be pleased to know that your daughter's dating again. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> good for her. Who is it? An uh, English painter named Colin Crowley. The guy that used to be married to Sabrina? Yes, why? Well, I never really knew the guy, but I gotta tell you, it always gave me an uneasy feeling. Where is everyone? Inside at the buffet. Good, listen, I know you told Leanne that Bob and Kim were having marital problems, right? Uh, yeah, do yeah, told me. Yeah, yeah. Duke told you. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like Duke. Well, he just let it slip. Have you been swimming laps all this time? I'm impressed. Well, we're trying to work off a little frustration. Oh. <sighs> oh, good. You found a towel. I did. Well, there's lots to eat. If you're hungry, just go help yourself. Well, thank you, but I'll pass. I think I'm gonna get changed, and then I'll get my little sister out of your hair. Oh, Sean, actually, Bianca invited me to stay the night. Courtney, I didn't ask my mother yet. It's all right, dear. I mean, just tell Eunice. Oh, okay. I'll go now, then. I'll join you. Thank you very much. I'll, uh, bring the car around. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's good looking, Miss Bates. Yes, he is. Yes, he really is. Of course, Colin has nice legs. Yes, he Two does. attractive young men. Mm. Yes, they are. Oh, Miss Enigmatic Pussycat, I think I'm on to you. You, who are dating Colin, it seems exclusively, even though you're not serious about him. I saw you looking at Sean. Hey, is Sean your real? Is that the real guy? Real interest? Yes, yes, I do like him. Um, very much, in fact. <laughs> 
but he and Franny are very serious, so. Oh, darling, who cares? Don't let that get in the way. <laughs> no. Maybe <laughs> let it get in the way. Mother, I had enough trouble with a man who promised he was gonna love me to the ends of the earth, all right? I don't, I don't need another heartache. I don't need another woman's man, okay? Okay, good night, Miss Catherine. Oh, one other thing, though. <laughs> I just have to say it. You may not be serious about Colin, but he's serious about you. Yes, I know. I know. As a matter of fact, he proposed to me earlier today. Good night. Achoo! Allergies. Thankfully, there's new Pediacare Allergy. There's no alcohol, and it doesn't make her so sleepy. It has the formula pediatricians prefer over Benadryl Elixir. As long as she has allergies, I'll trust Pediacare. To clean your hard-to-reach back teeth, you can either get a flip-top head or get Reach, the clean teeth toothbrush, with an angled neck to clean hard-to-reach back teeth. Reach, the clean teeth toothbrush. Even if I didn't have sensitive skin, I'd use it anyway, because I just love the idea of a pure, white, fragrance-free skincare treatment. But the fact that I do have sensitive skin and can now have what zillions of women use to help them look younger, well, don't think I don't love that idea, too. Softening, smoothing oil of Olay for sensitive skin. Being taken for younger is just fine with me. Ma, when does the cast come off? Why, don't you guys like washing dishes? Ooh, pork grease. Bogus. Here, you do it. You do it. You do it. Ma, you Relax. do it. Relax. Dawn will do it. Give Dawn your greasiest grease. Dawn will break it up and take it away. Somebody forgot this. Not in the greasy water, bonehead. My glass is as clean as the stuff you washed, so you're the bonehead. No, you aren't. Keep it up and the cast stays on permanently. Dawn, it takes grease out of your way. I was sure there was no hope. Her white sweater was caked with mud. And the sleeve got caught. No hope. My pants! But I tried Tide with Bleach. Your dirt, your dingies, everything's whiter with Tide with Bleach. Take a dirty sock. Gets only this white with other detergents, but Tide with Bleach gets it gleaming white. Mud and grime's gone. Mrs. Virginia Dean. If it's gotta be clean, it's gotta be Tide. You should go home and get some rest. If you want to be in shape to, to help Casey through these next critical days, his fight is just... Hi! Hi, Hi Bob. Hi. Hi. You know you're right. I will, and I'll stop by and see Casey on my way out. Okay. Casey? What's wrong with Casey? Encephalitis. It's very serious. Oh, Mom, I'm sorry. I know how much Casey means to you. Oh, a whole lot. I'm going to spend the night here. Hey, is there something else bothering you? Oh, it's just, you know, Lisa came by before, and then Franny and Tom, and now when they look at me, you know, they all look at me, they get rigid, like I have a scarlet letter on my back or something. Oh, I should be ashamed of myself whining like this about my problems when poor Casey is fighting that terrible disease. Katie's spending the night with Margo and Tom, so I'm gonna stay here with you, dear. No way, Jose. I already talked to Tom and Margo. You're going home with them. I have no say-so in the matter. Nope. Somebody's gotta give Katie a goodnight kiss from her papa. <laughs> okay. Deal. Oh, Duke and Freddy, I've been waiting a long time to see you. I, I don't want to tire you out. Oh, but... That's okay. Send them in. Okay. Oh, Dr. Paredes, you're saving. Thanks, Lai. I'll be right outside. Hey. Hey, good to see you, Paredes. Mm, you too, Hughes. How you feeling? Oh, lousy. Not terrible. How's Leanne doing? 
Ah, oh, she's, she's great. She's gonna come see you real soon. Anything we can do? Uh, yeah, uh, Lila's putting up a great act, in case you haven't noticed, but I can see right through it. Now, the next few days are gonna be a little rough. I'll be fine, but I'd appreciate it if you'd look out for her, okay? Sure, man. It's done. Okay, should I call your parents? Oh, no. I'm surprised Lai hasn't brought that up. If they knew they'd come in a flash, that's the last thing she needs. Hey, you know what? Larry had an encephalitis patient once. She had one bad week and then came through with flying colors, a complete recovery. Yeah, that's the kind of story I like to hear. You keep supplying me with those, okay? You bet you could. <laughs> Truly, uh, Ted and I are going to go back to my place and do some business. Would you like to join us for a drink? The biggest mistake of my life was going over to your place for that first drink. But when are you going to believe that I just want to put all this behind us and be your friend? Maybe when you stop playing games with me, Tonio. I mean, what is this? You want to do the Mary Elizabeth shoot in your bedroom? Look, he wanted an atmosphere that was sexy. And we both know that my bedroom fits that description. Well, thanks for inviting me to join you. Next time's on me, right? <laughs> Take care. Good night. You know, I wonder what goes on underneath that fellow's smooth exterior. What do you mean? Well, for instance, I just saw him in the foyer having an intense conversation with Tonio. Hello. Strange to be in the house. Oh, I got too late. <laughs> you know, we had managed to forget all about that, Crowley, until you brought it up. Time to go. Oh, all right. See you in the morning, Colin. Good morning. Good night. Good night. Good So, may we resume our conversation about our future? Well, why talk about it? I mean, haven't we been building towards a future since we met? I have a question for a question. Is there any hope for me? Oh, there's always hope, Colin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's too short. Should we have another one? Wait, that's it. It's what? The tune I heard at the warehouse. Pardon me. Can you tell me the name of that tune? In an English country garden, a very special lady made a special request. Where is she? I don't see her now, but she was at the bar. It's odd. Why request a tune and not stay to hear it? Make me rich, you say? An American family multimillionaire, just like Becky Wright, the Masons, the Knutsons, and $10 million winners Janice Amblin and David Brumbelow. You may be next. The next $10 million winner, only in the sweepstakes with my picture. You can be a multimillionaire real fast when I announce the winning number on TV. Imagine you so rich so soon this summer. Hurry, enter at once. From now on, there's only one thing to remember about saving on long distance. Sprint Plus always costs less than AT&T. And for a limited time, Sprint Plus comes with one free month of the best sounding long distance. That's right, one free month. Just call 1-800-877-4000 now. Don't miss Sprint Plus with one free month. Now the best savings plan saves you even more. Sunsweet's been up to something remarkably fresh. A reclosable canister. So, Sunsweet pitted prunes stay fresh and moist. That is, for as long as they stay around. Only one prune tastes unsweet. I'm dreaming of summer, cool breezes, fresh air. When I want that feeling, summer's eve takes me there. It's clean, fresh feeling, keeps the good times on my mind. Summer's eve brings back freshness anytime. Home sweet home. All right, I'll go out and turn on some lights. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to let you out of my sight, even if the new security system is in. Oh. I don't think I'll ever be able to walk up these last landing again without remembering that body we found. You know, Lassie, I could have sworn that man was dead. Although it played me the fool in the eyes of the police, I know a dead man when I see one. Well, I know. Let's not talk about it. 
You know, I wonder if there's any connection between that and our missing portraits. You know, I think the whistling has something to do with it, too. Doesn't it strike you as a bit odd that for all the time Crowley was supposed to have heard that song, he couldn't remember it? No, I can't remember it either. All right, well, that's enough talk of whistling. I'm carrying you upstairs and turning on the security system, and then I'm going to fall safely into your arms. Put me down! No, no, I get to carry you, because soon you'll be too heavy with child. We should go. Oh, yeah, give a guy a break, will you? <laughs> Kiss Katie for me, okay? I will. Good night, sweetheart. Mm, good night. I'll find Tom, okay? Hey, Margo, I'm sorry I missed a picnic, but I just couldn't pass up the opportunity for a spinal tap. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that sense of humor, you're gonna be just fine. Hey, listen, listen, listen. No jokes for a minute. Come here. You know, you're the realist in your family. I guess I'm the realist in mine. So I know I can count on you. I know this thing can go either way. Hey, no, 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 no don't talk like that. I need to to somebody, and it's you. I know that I can be honest with you. I need to spare Lila some of this, okay? Okay. You can count on me, Casey. Good. I just have so much respect for Casey. If you could have seen how depressed he was when I used to visit him at the clinic in Massachusetts, and, and then if you could have seen him when he came back here at Christmas and really, really went to bat for our, for our real life, you know? It's just shaking you up, huh? It's just so unfair. Listen, Lila and Casey have each other just like we do. That's yeah. good. Oh, by the way, Courtney told me it was Duke that told her about your parents. Well, that's hard to believe. Duke promised not to say anything to anybody. I don't know. I'd... Let's forget about Courtney, huh? Okay. Now, excuse me. Oh, hi, Daddy. Hi. Is there any change in Casey? No, no. He's a real fighter. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know. Um, listen, have you had anything to eat? <laughs> Tell you the truth, I forgot about dinner. Well, why don't I fix us something? Hello? Mom. Ever since Unison, people have abandoned their old sleep medicine. Why? Because they want to fall asleep fast and sleep better all night. And in medical tests, people fell asleep faster with Unison than without and slept better all night. Tonight, join the millions who've switched to Unisom. Take Unisom for faster, better sleep. Hey, what's this stuff? Liquid dial. Why'd we switch? This one has germ killer. Our own liquid soap had germ killer. No, it didn't. Didn't? Nope. I thought it did. Uh-uh. What about the stuff before that? It didn't. It didn't? Never. Never? Never, ever. I thought it did. You thought wrong, dear. I did? You did. Mm -hmm. Most liquid hand soaps don't kill germs. Liquid Dial does because it's made with a unique antibacterial formula. I know. I bet the stuff we had way back... Dad, it didn't. Nah, didn't. Liquid Dial. It's made to kill germs. Whoa, 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 when summer wear needs special care, trust Woolite in your machine. Woolite! From sunning wear to stunning wear, whatever clothes need special care, trust whoa, whoa, in your machine. What's great about Reynolds Wrap is it's so strong. After you've cooked with it, it cleans up in a flash. Nothing works like Reynolds Wrap. Sports is no joke. Well, get ready for some real belly laughs with all the sports foul-ups, bloopers, and craziness you can imagine. The Sports Comedy Network. Then... You look... Very pretty. Thank you. I feel pretty. Those cheap, tawdry office affairs. I think I'm in love. Can be a drag. 
City, following the Sports Comedy Network Friday. A mayor's accused of murder. How disgusting. Will Jessica run against him to clear his name? Sounds like good strategy. Murder, she wrote, Sunday. Stay tuned for Guiding Light next on most of the CBS station. Children's Clothes by Good Lad of Philadelphia. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns.